guys welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is Claire and this is Polly put the petal on it's absolutely wonderful to be back here with you today um, it's been some time hasn't it I have been doing little shorts um, little short videos I'm really enjoying making those um, for you all um, but it has been some time since I was last here and when I was last here I think it was a Primark haul and this one is no different um, because I needed to take that skirt back and then I ended up taking those t-shirts back because I said they were too big on the shoulders so I took those back and of course while you're in there you have a quick browse don't you so I did pick up some other things obviously I'd got a refund um, and um, yeah so I, all I needed to do was add a little bit to it I've also got some footwear from um, H&M which I'm going to share with you and I've got a few bits from Home Bargains. Now, I can't honestly say that I've got too, anything too exciting from Home Bargains. I'm going to show you nevertheless because it was my excuse to come on, um, see you face to face because I haven't seen you for some time, um, check in with you all and see how you all are. And um, yeah, and I really do hope you're all very well. Um, and I hope you had a lovely Easter because that's how how long it's been guys I've, I've not been here but I've had my son home from university and it's been wonderful to have him here you know his company's been you know really appreciated to be honest we've had such a lovely time watching movies together and um, I've been listening to him play his, his electric piano and stuff which is absolute bliss I, I love him I love his music I really do and he's all self-taught and he's absolutely fabulous he's genius in my book but of course he would be because I'm biased because he's my son so let's get on with this shall we um so yeah like i say it's nothing too exciting i bought some dove soap six bars i needed it and i, I i've been using the pink one and you do get a bit nose blind after a little while don't you so i thought right i'm gonna go i'm gonna change it up and i've gone back to the original and i love that scent i really do um i've picked up some flakes uh, i haven't picked up any flakes at all i've picked up some there's some bread that i want to show you as well guys because if anybody of you are doing slimming world or even watching your weight i'm going to show you this bread because it's absolutely beautiful um i've picked up some ripple now these are full size ripples so it's eight sins for one on slimming world um you know and if i've not um used any sins up throughout the day i can have that with a cuppa or i can cut it in half and it's only four sins but you can't beat a galaxy ripple it's one of my favorite bars that um picked up some of this foil now i thought this foil was good and it's super strong there was a box open and i felt it and because i usually use aldi's and it's three pounds odd this was three pounds but it was the lower end of three pounds um, as opposed to Aldi's being the higher end of three pounds. Aldi's I like to use because um, it's 30 metres and it's very strong. It's tough stuff and it, it, it lasts that way. If you, if you buy better, you know, you don't have to keep um, spending money, dashing money on it, do you? Um, that thin stuff, it's neither use nor ornament. That's my opinion. Um, but yeah, so I've bought some kitchen. This is heavy duty. It says ultra strong and it was three pounds odd. Uh, but like I say, the lower end of three pounds. So I thought that was good. I've got my um, pork, chopped pork, peck, gold. Now this is a gold um, because it's only two and a half sins per 100 grams. And there are 170 grams in there. So even it's less than five, five sins per per tin um, and I've told you before I like peck and chips peck egg and chips and I also like it on a sandwich some brown sauce or even salad cream and salad absolutely delicious those combinations um, I picked up some party rings because they are because I like a biscuit um, although I'm doing Slimming World I like a biscuit and these are 91 calories so it's five sins a bag um, for those party rings and you feel as if you've had a biscuit with your cup of tea um, and that's what it's all about for me you know having a little having a little treat you don't have to cut anything out so long as you you look at the sins um i also picked up some of this bleach i love this bleach it's absolutely fabulous um i'm com just coming to the end of one now in my in my uh, toilet so i've picked up some more I picked up these lemons, guys. Now, I think these were 1 99 
me just check my receipt. I think they were £1.99. And remind me to get, get that bread and show you that bread because it is lovely. Now, I'm just interjecting here while I was talking to you about that bread. Um, I'd totally forgotten. By the time I finished filming, I'd totally forgotten about the bloody bread. So I'll come back to show you this bread. It's by Robert's Bakery and it's called Super OT. And as you can see, it's full size bread. Um, on Slimming World, you can have two slices of this. The only thing is, with this, I've had this in the freezer. I've got two loaves. When I saw it, when I found it, because I've been looking for it for over a week, um, you can bet your bottom dollar I bought two, two loaves and I've got them in the freezer. And all I do, literally, is take two slices out at a time because they're the two slices. That's my allowance for the day. Take two slices out. Um, and I will flash up on screen what, what the sins would be per slice if you wanted extra. Um, I'll flash that up now. Um, but you can have two slices as your healthy extra B. I take two slices out during the day. I'm repeating myself now. <laughs> Please forgive. Um, it's such a nice sandwich, a piece of toast. Um, it's lovely. It really is. It doesn't taste like... Um, now, there is... I think there is... Um, wheat in it yes there is um there's oatmeal 8.5 percent oatmeal um and there is wheat and then there's all the calcium and the niacin and all that sort of stuff um but it doesn't taste like brown bread now you know i've been eating brown bread for quite some time but on a on on brown bread unless you have the aldi's everyday essentials you can only have the small um, whole meal of, of Hovis, uh, the, the tiny one, the 400 gram one, and two slices of that. It's not a full sandwich, so you're not, you, you don't feel as if you're getting fed, you know, basically. So with that, I do. But not only that, when I'm having a bacon butty, I think back to the olden days where you had it on white bread, you know, you had your butter, and that to me is the taste of a bacon sandwich. This, I feel as if I'm having a bacon sandwich on brown bread it just isn't the same flavor so I just wanted to interject and share that with you the only thing is with this and the only problem that I'm finding is not everybody stocks it but home bargains does um but I the, last week I literally went to several supermarkets to find this and they hadn't got it yes they stocked uh, Robert's bakery bread but they hadn't got this home bargains sell it and now I shall end this interjection thanks for listening tell you how, how much these lemons were where are you can't even see it they were one pound something any lemon vase filler they're a vase filler apparently and they're one pounds 99 i didn't see that it said vase filler no it doesn't say it on the box Anyway, it says decorative accessories. Well, of course, I'm a wreath maker and so I bought them um, possibly for a lemon wreath. I've already got a lemon wreath in my loft that I made a number of years ago, a couple of couple of, couple of years ago. Um, and um, But they're only small lemons. So I'll pick these up and, you know, indeed, I may put them in a, in a, in a vase and have them. But to be honest with you, I, 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 hi. I have enough lemons, fresh lemons in my home to fill a vase anyway um, because I drink lemon water every day and I have a whole one every every morning. I cut it in half and I have two big um, cups full of lemon, uh, warm lemon water. So, you know, if I wanted decorative, I could always just drop my own lemons in and I can keep those for the wreaths. Um, and that's those there, one ninety nine, and there are eight. There's eight in there, which is fabulous because they're not too bad. Shall we see what they're made of? Because I think it looks like foam. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, guys. Yeah, it's some kind of foam because if I squeeze that, it's going to get pitted, so I won't squeeze it. You've got a little decorative lemon leaf on the top. But they're all right, those, um, and they'll look lovely in a nice summer's um, fresh lemon wreath, won't it? Um, and lastly, from Home Bargains, and that is the last, 
I picked up some Ultra Lift Complete Beauty Night Cream and I was desperate for night cream. In fact, I'm desperate to overhaul my skincare. Um, I really need to look at what I've got and what I need because I need, I know I need quite a, a fair bit, a fair amount. Um, but I was on the hop and uh, I was right at the end of my other um, night cream and uh, I was there in home bargain so I picked this up it was 4 99 so it's Garnier Skin Active Ultra Lift Com Complete Beauty Anti-Wrinkle Firming Radiance Boosting I've used it for two nights this box is empty the, the little pots by my bed I've used it for two nights it's not too bad it's not too bad at all um, but it says uh, fights wrinkles firms evens complexion overnight dermatologically tested regenerative plant cell extracts so there's not a lot else to say about it really um not a lot at all and let's hope it does its job <laughs> whilst i'm asleep so yeah that's that was and that was 4.99 so let's move on now to i'll swap bags and we'll move on to um primark and h&m right guys so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna I'm going to um, share the least interesting bits first because I was replacing some things as well, wasn't I? I think I took something like four T-shirts back um, and I fetched three T-shirts back with me. The, this one's a long sleeve though. Um, and I did say, didn't I? It, you know, because now it's gone sustainable. The sizes seem to have gone a lot more generous. So I've gone for a medium. Um, I always have these. Um, again, this even looks big really for me. Um, it's a just a v-neck long sleeve white because mine had got stains on so and and I couldn't get them out so I've picked I've picked this up and it was it's just a basic and it was um four pounds and it's size 12 14 um but it's uh, you know I don't know I'll try it I've not tried that one I must admit I have tried these two I replaced those um they were from the last haul uh, the last Primark haul, which was the last full video that I did. Um, I'd got that navy and white stripe and I'd got a plain white um, V-neck, just um, normal T-shirts. And I picked them up in a 12-14 because I'd got the 14-16 and they were just too big on the shoulders for me. So I've replaced them with those um, and they are just basic again and they're £4.00. One, the striped one was £4 and the plain white was £3. Um, now I picked up this, this was in the pyjama section, but I thought, well, I will wear it as a pyjama. I think me and Kim did have a discussion about, um, you know, being able to wear it as a, as a little vest top, especially if you're just sat in the garden. Um, but I think I will wear it. Now I did pick this up in a large. Um, I'm not sure why because again, I think it might be a little too big, but if it's gonna go as pajamas, um, it's quite possible that it'll be a lot more comfier. But it's just got this lace trim on the, on the shoulder straps and around the, you know, around the collar sort of thing and around the armpit. Um, and that was, like I say, I picked it up in a large and that was four pounds, I didn't realize it was that, but of course it's posing as a pajama top um, in, in uh, Primark and speaking of pajamas I picked these up now Kim wasn't keen on these um I loved them Kim said oh no I dropped because she picked a white pair up with I think they were I think it was ex almost exactly the same but it was a black trim so it's got this lovely little lace trim these are the shorts and I have picked these up in a large because I like to be comfortable in bed and of course if you're not moving around you do swell a little bit in the night I don't know if anybody's noticed that but you do so I've picked these up in a large. Um, I'd rather be comfortable, you know, while I'm while I'm sleeping. Um, but it's got this lovely little lace trim. It's just a navy polka dot, and there's a little a little bow there. Elasticated waist, as you can see, and this is the top. Now these were eight pounds for this little set. The material is that beautiful soft material and it's and it's stretchy too, stretchy material. Um, and it's a V uh, neckline and it's got that, again, it's got that lovely navy lace trim. These are spaghetti straps, but they're also adjustable as well, which is fabulous, you know. Um, 
because I invariably have to use those um, adjustments. Um, so yeah, and it's just a nice, well, I'll hold it up for you actually, because it's just a nice loose little top, you know, um, really quite nice. And I, I can actually see myself having a brew out on a, on a nice warm morning in that. You know, I won't be embarrassed to be caught by the neighbours. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't feel ashamed if I was sat out in, in those. Um, right. Um, I picked up some pop socks for my daughter. She gave me a little, a little list. She needed these for, um, for work. She's now been given, um, she's now been issued some, um, trousers to, to work in, you know, ladies trousers to work in as part of her uniform as cabin crew. And so she only needed these little pop socks. They call them ankle highs, but in my day they were called pop socks. So I got two boxes for it, and they were two. There's five pairs in each. I'll show you closely in a minute. Just let me get the other box, then I can get them out of the way. Um, there's five pairs in each. Um, these are glossy. Um, she wanted a dark pair, um, so she she said caramel. So I've picked her up those, and they are two pounds fifty per box for five pairs. So that's really good, isn't it? 50 pence a pair. Um, so yeah, I picked her those up. Um, I think she will go back to her skirt, you know, when when um, when it gets... Mind you, she travels to other countries anyway, but, it, you know, I don't know. Um, and I picked up some foot cushions because I'm having trouble with my feet, guys. I really am. Um, under the... Where my second to big toe just underneath there you know in the ball of your foot i'm having serious trouble i think i've got some kind of um condition because it's on both feet i'm gonna have to go to the doctors um, and get it checked out um, but yeah so kim we were in the queue and kim was picking these up because kim has rheumatoid arthritis and she said these are so comfy claire so i thought right um I'm going to I'm going to give them a go. Um at the moment I'm wearing New Balance trainers and they seem to keep it at bay, you know, um because they I don't know if anybody's used New Balance trainers but they are such a comfortable pair of trainers to wear. Um and they you know while I'm out and about they tend to keep it at bay. But um yeah. So I picked those up and I'm going to give them a go. They're just a little cushioned um especially there which is where I'm having trouble, and on the heel there. So they're fabulous, and they were two pounds a pair. Now, I picked up this, and I can't say I'm absolutely overjoyed with this. I've got it on today, I've tried it. Um, it's three pounds 50, it's lengthening mascara, it's enriched with shea butter, pro-vitamin B5 and vitamin E, and it's black mascara. I can't say I would pick it up again now i may further down the line get along with it you know after a, after a certain amount of usage but it it's left um i don't like i've already got dark shadows under my eyes so i certainly don't need any more um but yeah there's the brush it's got that that curve on it um but i i'm not getting along with it at all now it's flat on those sides but on on the inverted curve and the and the curve it it's not flat it's a brush if you know what i mean so i suppose there's some technique to it and i certainly haven't got it <laughs> but i'll keep trying but at, at the moment i'm i'm not overjoyed with it and that's probably going to be a dupe for something um somebody shout me in the comments i'm sure you will i haven't got a clue because I, i'm not into dupes and all that sort of stuff um right then i picked up this lovely bag guys absolutely lovely it's absolutely it was one of the last things i saw and it was nine pounds and look at the color on that isn't it gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful i love the shape it's just got the the little carry handle and that's how i carry my other bags too um i don't oh there is a strap in here uh for crossbody um so if i wanted to you know at the end of the 
um, day or whatever it is that I'm doing when I'm wearing it if I wanted to and um, was fed up with um, carrying it handle wise I can just sling it across body and it's got one little pocket I mean you'll definitely get your, your phone in there your key and some money <laughs> you won't get but you might get your eyeliner and your mascara a bit of lipstick but it's not massive as you can see but it's still beautiful and I love it and it's almost in this um crocodile um mock crocodile pattern on it but it is lovely isn't it beautiful little bag lovely little color lovely little color <laughs> I've not been here a while guys and um I don't change I don't change at all but yeah it's a lovely color I really I was really taken with that and that was nine pounds and then I picked up some um just prime out the only pound these they used to be 90 pence didn't they picked up these brown flip-flops because I love flip-flops now I usually wear um Havianas um but I've never I've never come across a brown pair you know I do like a, a little bit of neutral um and I thought well I've got a brown bodycon dress I do wear a lot of this kind of colour and stuff um and I thought right well I'll pick those up um because I've got my black Havianas anyway so uh I, yeah I can see messages coming through and it's kind of putting me off a little bit but uh, yeah, so I picked those up and they were just a pound Primark specials and they're comfy. They are comfy. You'll see me with these on my feet when I do this try on of these shorts that I picked up. Absolutely love these. They're a lovely tailored short. Now I picked these up in a large because I am a size 14. I've got big hips too. Um, and they were £12. These are lovely. They've got, I'm going to put a side by side now. So they've got these three, these three gold buttons. You see, these, these would be really nice with the blazer. They'd also, but I've got it on with one of these white t-shirts because what I really wanted was a khaki green or an army green as it's also known as um, t-shirt. But the one that I tried on was almost like bat wing t-shirt and I looked, I've already got um wide a wide chest and so I looked wider and I, I it just didn't it didn't look right having said that I could have looked in my own mirror because has anybody noticed Primark mirrors are absolutely awful they really are awful they make you look twice the size than what you really are they really do I hate them and um, but because I'd got I'd got um three dresses and another top in my basket and I thought you know I don't really want to be taking them home seeing that they don't suit or or fit whatever the case may be and having to go back again um and so um I tried them I went in the changing rooms but those changing room mirrors are absolutely awful please say it's not just me they really are awful I mean whether my, my mirrors tell lies I know my bedroom mirror tells a lie do you know what I mean but you know, even the hall mirror that doesn't tell a lie. I look I look far better in that than those Primark mirrors. They're absolutely awful. But anyway, back to these shorts. So they've got three lovely gold decorative buttons down, going down from the waist down to this slant pocket that are really nice, quite nice and deep, as you can see. Um, I've probably had to put that... <laughs> I've probably had to stretch that side by side out. I don't know. Put it back i don't know how i'll edit that now um they've got they're not pleated but there is you know they're, they're not a stitch pleat but there there is a you know a pleat down there i think they're absolutely lovely there's a side zip um and to me they're beautiful they really are they're such a lovely neutral color now they wouldn't look out of place with this they didn't look out of place with the white t-shirt they wouldn't look out of place with an, a nice dressier top um a blazer um like i say I, i'm looking for a khaki um green um top army green top um to go to go with those this will definitely go with those um, and I'm super, super happy. And I just had that on with those flip-flops. Um, 
but they do, you know I've, i'm going on to h&m now because i think that's oh no i bought this from um primark as well i just bought some setting nearly couldn't say that then setting spray um picked up some setting spray five pounds um i don't know whether it works it's with aloe vera ni niacinamide and pro vitamin b5 refreshing setting spray so we'll see prep and perfect so we'll see how that goes i don't know um somebody will let me know um in fact i could i could always ask maxine maxine will know um, but, you know, I'm sick to death of, and I wear a lot of white tops and I'm sick to death of transferring my makeup onto my white tops. Um, it drives me bonkers because I've, I, I was wearing one the other week and it, I've completely ruined that it's a high neck, a white high neck one, and I've completely ruined the neck, the neck hole. Um, so we'll go to H&M and I've picked up my lovely, now I picked these up quite some time ago, but I had to send them back. Um, I had to send them back because even though I picked up my size, which was size five, they um, they came up too big on me, and they, they look like canal boats on my on my feet, and especially because I've only got thin feet as well, you know, narrow feet. Um, so I sent them back. Well, actually, I, I actually walked into into the into store, and um, and then I come home and I order because they hadn't got any in store ordered a size four and these are perfect and they're just my usual get them every year um have done for six six years and i get them every year and they're just my usual chunky pump nice chunky sole um and it gives you a little bit more height and um, also looks that little bit extra i think on your foot especially if you have got a narrow foot it just makes you it, you know it just makes it look a little bit more i don't know just gives it a little bit of something um in my opinion um and i wear that with my body con dresses wear these with body con dresses but even that with those shorts if i was playing that top down it that those shorts down you know even with those shorts because they're so nice and they're smart even with a blazer they're just lovely versatile i love these my go-to's every every i buy them every spring and they're my summer shoe um, and the next thing I bought, so when I went into store, I, um, they didn't have those and I'd got my refund and, and I got the refund immediately and I saw these and I thought, oh my goodness, I will get those um, for, for myself, you know, off that refund because those are going to give my i've got bad feet as i've just said to you as you can see they're a slider but they're almost like a footbed slider they've got like that hermes um front haven't they you know those sliders that we all buy they're too flat for me they hurt my feet i've got a pair a black pair in the in the hut they're hurting my feet and because these and they've got the if you can see that groove there they're super comfy for my poorly feet. Um, and so I picked those up. Now these were 21, 21.99, but they're absolutely gorgeous. I don't know whether they're leather. They're made in China. Um, I, I don't think they're leather. No, they're not. But they're absolutely beautiful, as you can see. You'll see a little side by side with them on the feet. They really do look nice. And again, um, they don't hurt my feet you know they've given me some support and some comfort on my feet and um they look quite nice as well with them being chunky you know sometimes i think a slider a flat slider can be too flat of a slider just like those um you know dolly shoes like the but like the little belly pump shoes that you you can get i think in primark they're too flat they're just too flat they neither look nice nor feel nice on your feet they're just too damn flat um for me personally um so yeah they're just really nice and like i say 21.98 i picked them up in a size five and i absolutely love them and they're so comfortable and they look really nice and smart on the foot i think you'll agree so guys that is the end of i think it is anyway it is that's the end of this haul um so it's been absolutely lovely it really has been lovely to see it that's the end of the haul guys um i know i am just going to have a little catch up with you now because i've not been here for a while have i 
um it's really really lovely to see it really is um yeah so thank you honestly thank you for rejoining me um and like i say i have been here i've just been doing shorts and i love filming shorts so they will become part of you know my youtube channel now um because i i really enjoy doing them um on whatever subject i mean i've got I'm, i might even do some just for fun because i've i found some old footage um from 2016 um of me and my kids um doing daft stuff you know with filters that change your face shape and stuff um and so i think i'm gonna <laughs> just so you can see how daft we can be uh so i think i'm gonna post a couple of those just for fun so that's what it'll be and uh, that's what it'll be titled you know um just for fun but yeah um so we've had a lovely easter i had all the family here for easter which was absolutely fantastic it really was i always get that lovely feeling but do you know what guys i must admit we took my son back yesterday to university and oh, <laughs> i can't wait now to get straight do you know what I mean? Because it doesn't matter, you know, I can I can do my, my cooking and my cleaning. Five minutes later, I've cleaned that kitchen. Five minutes later, it's like a bomb site, you know. And you don't really want to say, would you like to clean that up? Or you don't really want to say, you know, anything negative. Because the little, little critter doesn't come home all the time, you know what I mean? So you, you just get on with it and you go back in there and you do it again. Um, so I'm looking forward to, um, you know, getting everything straight now and, uh, but it'll be home in a, in a, in another month, um, for summer, which is fabulous. Um, but yeah, he eats you out of house and home. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have it any other way. You know, he leaves lights on galore, sockets on, you know, you say to him, <laughs> can you sort that out please? He's like, yeah, it's not, I say, it's on standby and standby is burning electric. Well, you know, again, you don't want to nag because you want him always to, to come home, do you know what I mean? And so you try to, you try. Anyway, so he's gone now and um, I'm going to enjoy this, this next month of getting straight. I've got a lot of things to do, guys. I really have. I, I, I'm working my way around this living room and different sections. Um, I've come to a little bit of a standstill there because i'm waiting for something i'm waiting for some strip lights to come um and yeah so and then i, I can crack on with that i've got my uh we're going to be doing some cricket crafts and stuff because i've got my i'm going to be doing this cricket station here i've moved my floristry station did you see that bingo wing then you wouldn't believe i did yoga would you i mean it's a bit tighter now but you wouldn't believe i did yoga um so <laughs> do love a good sidetrack don't i really do so i've moved that basket from there and i've put it down there ready to go in the drawers there so there's a lot of trumpet muck in the drawers there that i don't use or don't need so i'm going to be purging the stuff and i've got little lily around the corner um, and i'm quite sure she'll be more than happy to have some craft stuff um and so yeah i'll be doing that and then we'll be doing some cricket projects and of course we're still going to be doing floristry i've got a wreath to make on my door matt i've got an old wreath on my door last year's summer wreath and it's absolutely it's faded and everything i need to replace it which i am going to do so we'll be doing some more wreath making um and floristry and um yeah i think i've kept you long enough I, you know i don't I'm just chunnering along um, because I've not been here for a while. But yeah, do keep your eye out for some some shorts. You know, keep your eye out for the shorts. Um, please click the the uh, like button, um, share with your friends, um, click the subscribe button if you haven't done already. It's completely free to do so. Um, and yeah, it'd be lovely to have you join the channel. So do take care. I'm going to be coming back very, very soon. Can't say, I can't say when because I just need to get straight a little bit because also I had a kitchen cupboard replacement in the kitchen. So I've got half the kitchen. Well, I've got ki some kitchen here. I've got most of the kitchen on the kitchen floor in there in some bags that I've just taken through for me to empty and put back into the cupboards. 
so I've got, I'm just going to have a few days getting straight and then I'll be back um, and it'll probably be a wreath or something like that um, something along those lines so do take care thank you for joining me today it's been absolutely lovely to be back and to see you to spend this time and I hope to spend some more time with you soon do take care take care bye